Well, hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video one of air supply for gas appliances. Today we talk about code requirements. All code references will be made from the B149.1 natural gas and propane installation code by CSA. The air supply we're going to refer to is the air used for the gas appliances to burn. It includes primary air, secondary air, excess air, and dilution air. And this is only for Category 1 natural draft appliances. Category 1 natural draft appliances are antique in nature and they are being phased out. We will see them in a number of older buildings and they still exist quite widely with hot water tank installations today. The most common type of installation today for gas appliances is the Category 4 or high efficient furnaces. These generally are direct vent, meaning they have their own exhaust vent and they have their own air intake vent. So these ones don't require air supply like we're going to talk about in this video. And the way we would install all that venting is by the official manufacturer's instructions. Category 1 natural draft appliances draw air from the building to burn. Therefore, we have to pipe that air in with a special vent called a combustion air vent. This comes from the outside through an insulated pipe and right down beside the furnace here with a combustion air pot where the cold air comes out of to be burned. According to the gas code, this combustion air pot needs to terminate within one foot above and within two feet horizontally of the burner with the largest input. So technically, looking at this example right here, the furnace is the burner with the largest input. However, that combustion air pot actually needs to come up about a foot. The other important thing to note is that air supply inlet from the outdoors needs to be at least a foot above the ground to meet code requirements and it also needs to be above the local snow line because you don't want that covered up. There is a number of requirements for the combustion air vent. You can find that in section 8.3 of your gas code. But the other one I would like to point out is it cannot terminate within three feet of a moisture exhaust duct. That is a fancy name for a dryer vent. We will be referencing two different types of Category 1 gas appliances. The first one is a typical natural draft appliance with a draft hood. Looks like this. The other type is called a fan-assisted or mid-efficient gas appliance. The key difference here is the fan-assisted has a fan that will overcome the heat exchanger and deposit the exhaust gases into the flue. Whereas the natural draft will just go up the, the vent all by itself using natural convection. The reason why this is important is the draft hood equipped appliance needs extra air called dilution air to cool down the vent a little bit, whereas the fan assisted does not. So when it comes to sizing, we look at these a little bit differently. Another important thing to talk about is building construction. Over the last 20 or 30 years, buildings have been made airtight. They have a really good vapor barrier or plastic put up along the stud walls and they're actually sealed to the stud walls so very little airflow can make it in or out of the house. For the rest of this video series we will refer to these type of buildings as airtight or type A buildings. The gas code however is a little bit more confusing. It'll say complies with clause 821A or B. Now there is another type of building structure out there and that is called a leaky or loose constructed structure. The idea here is it doesn't have vapor barrier because it's old and wind can blow right through it no problem. So yes we like to call it leaky. The code once again more confusing says it does not comply with clause A21 A or B. The biggest difference here is that the loose constructed and tight constructed building will have their air supply sized differently, which is a topic for video two. The other thing we'd like to point out is if you are doing a renovation where you're changing out some appliances and you need to reconsider the air supply, always assume that you have a tight building because when people are renovating, they're redoing insulation and vapor barrier. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is a little allowance that the gas code gives us on clause 823. What it talks about is a house with a single water heater that is 50,000 BTUs or less and there is no other gas appliances in the house. We do not need to run an air supply for that. This would include a house that has one natural draft water heater and say two high efficient furnaces that have their own combustion air vent. We would not need to run an air supply to that. So it's kind of relevant today. 
Well, this brings us to the end of video one and stay tuned for video two where we talk about sizing air supply. Until then, have yourself a great day.